Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. All right, so here is the video announcing the October prompt for this month's journal challenge. Before I get into that, let me announce the winner of the September prompt. They are going to win this last uh, vintage music cover journal that I have that I've pulled out of my shop. So this is the prize. Hopefully you like it. <laughs> um, and the winner is, I just did the random number generator thingy because I have a list of everyone who's entered each month in Excel. And the winner is, um, it was number two and it was Cynthia Weaver Hogue. Now I hope I've said your name right. Um, so congratulations, Cynthia. I really hope you like this. This will be coming your way. If you can just email me your address or contact me through Facebook, that would be awesome. And that will be sent to you. Okay, so let's get on to the October prompt. As you can see, this is the prize for October. It's another journal and it's just one of my Daphne's diary journals because I don't think I've put this up as a prize for the journal challenges yet. So I wanted at least one of the months this one to be a prize. So that's the prize. And the prompt is, as you can see, <laughs> home. And there's a whole bunch of different ideas that I'll go through down here, but you can just... Again, as with all these prompts, you go wherever it leads you. You're probably thinking of ideas right now. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, oh, some ideas are jumping into your head. Um, so things like childhood home, um, where you grew up, what neighborhood you lived on, the name of your street, um, and anything to do with home. Like you could talk about the actual physical house if you want, or your family, or you can talk more about the neighborhood, like a local park you used to love going to, or what you loved about your home or your your street, um, or the, your neighbors and your friends that you had there, or your school, something like that. Anything connected with home. Um, maybe you want to write about your dream house, or you maybe want to sketch it out, like how you want this many rooms or this kind of door or this kind of lighting or this kind of yard or this kind of garden. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, favorite place. So maybe it's not your home, but when you go to this place, it feels like home. Um, maybe a certain country or a certain state or a certain location like, um, yeah, like a garden somewhere or a park or for me, I always think of my, like these ones kind of connect, a place that feels like home. So for me, my favorite place and a place that feels like home is <laughs> bookshops. I love bookshops. It feels like home as soon as I walk in. It feels like a bit of heaven actually. Um, and also lecture theaters and universities. When I walk onto a campus, it just feels like, yes, this feels like, this is, this is me. I just love learning. I love academia. I love all that kind of stuff. And just sitting in a lecture theatre where I can soak up a lecture, oh, it just, <laughs> it feels like home. Um, also, for me, I could talk about the Weeping Willow from my childhood home and how that was my favourite place as a kid and that felt like home too. Um, or I could take this more in a different direction and how a journal for me feels like home. When I open its pages, this feels like home. A journal is my favourite place. Or go to... Um, you know your favorite location is there like a holiday destination that you love visiting all the time or um, yeah a place that you haven't been before but you want to go to that it just feels like it's calling you not necessarily home but you just have this um, sense that you want to go there and check it out so you know take this as a loose prompt um, perhaps you want to talk more about the culture of a place also oh, so go back to location you can even talk about things like um yeah what's the what's the weather like there what is it about this place that you love is it because you love the beaches is it because you love the sun which is why I could talk about why I moved to Queensland because of the location because of the stunning views because of the hot weather the sun and the beaches um or you could talk more about the culture of a place and why it feels like home or why you want to go there so things like um for example, your childhood home, what was the culture like in your home? Um, for me, I could say it was very welcoming. It was very friendly because my dad had an open house. So we always constantly had people over for dinner and, you know, staying in a house. I think I counted 11 different people who throughout my life um, while I was in that house lived with us at different times. And I just love that culture of our home, that inviting, um, friendly, welcoming 
hospitality kind of gift that my dad had that that brought to our home so that kind of culture you can talk about the culture of your childhood home or what kind of culture do you want in your house right now you know um or thinking more broadly what culture is your neighborhood is it a safe neighborhood a friendly neighborhood what kind of culture do you want to see or um maybe you want to go to a different country and what what is it about that culture you love um what kind of atmosphere does it have what kind of qualities do the people have maybe you like the food I don't know (laughs) maybe there's some sort of the sightseeing and all that stuff the culture the history and the architecture or just the beauty of the natural landscape or the animals um you know I'm hoping I'm just throwing out so many ideas out there that your brain is firing and it's going yes I want to talk about that or I want to talk about that or it's kind of inspiring you so it's not just oh yeah let's put something on a page but it sparks something in your heart where you can go and connect with a place, a location, a home and see where you feel like home and what feels like home to you. And then you can instill that or infuse that vibe into wherever you are or create that vibe wherever you are. And so that way it's not just a reflective exercise on the page, but then you can bring it to your life and go, maybe it enhances your enjoyment or something or it gives you a greater appreciation or something or it gets you active in bringing about something in your own life. So, yeah, I um, let that take you wherever you want to go. <laughs> uh, I'll be really interested in seeing where you do take it. Um, I always love how I can have my own kind of ideas about what this prompt is speaking to me about, but when I see your page spreads, I'm just like, yes, that's great. I love how it just took you in that direction and then a different person it took them in a completely other direction. And I just love that how... It's, it's, yeah, making it personal to us and seeing where it connects with us and then getting that down on a page. And then I love seeing that about you, like seeing your heart expressed creatively on a page. So, yeah, I uh, hope you have fun with this prompt. Maybe you want to take pictures of your home or, I don't know, or um, like if you want to talk about your neighbourhood, you pick a leaf from the neighbourhood or a flower, press a flower, I don't know, something like that. Or maybe you've got some brochures of the place that you want to visit or something like that. Just some other ideas of how you can incorporate more visual elements. Maybe you want to draw some people. Um, are very good drawers in this group as well. <laughs> um, cool. All right. So I'll let you just run with that however you want. And of course, the prompt will stay open until the 31st of October. To enter, you just need to take a photo of your page spread and put it up on the Willow Bound Journal's Facebook group page. But you also get um, multiple entries if you share on Instagram or in the Facebook groups or if you do a video of your page spread and share it on YouTube and yet yeah, be sure to link back to my channel and this video so um, anyone else who wants to join in can even though we're nearly at the end um, but yeah my heart is always just about um, getting people journaling and seeing the benefits of journaling in their own lives and yeah hopefully this Add something of value to you as you do this challenge and I'm, I'm going to have fun working on my own page spread of course and thinking of how I can incorporate these different things <laughs> yeah um, and then yeah uh, when November comes around hopefully on the 1st of November I will announce the winner of the October prompt and who will win this and yeah I think that's all I need to share if you want to check out everyone's page spreads uh, and entries for the challenge, I'll leave the link below to Willow Bound Journal's the Facebook group page, and that's where you can check it all out. And I think that's it. But if I've missed anything, just check the description box below because I have got a whole list of information there. Um, I have playlists also of the previous prompts and playlists of um, all my page spreads that I've done for the prompt as well. So yeah I think I need to update that actually (laughs) um and yeah there's going to be one overall grand prize at the end of the year for someone who has done every single prompt and if you missed a month that's okay as long as you um take a photo of the prompt you can catch up later it doesn't matter which month you do it in to get this prize the monthly prize you do need to have done it in the month itself but um, there's going to be an overall winner for someone who's done every single prompt which is so cool Ah, I love it um all right i think i've rambled on long enough (laughs) um check the description box below and have fun with this prompt of home (laughs) all right thanks guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye